Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So Paul Jesus Rovia is a character that was introduced in The Walking Dead Season 6. He is a character from the comics and they did do a lot of his comic material, a lot of his comic character. For example, he talked a lot to Maggie. He was like Maggie's second in command and things like that. He was He was an okay character, but he was just really underused. Especially with with the action scenes. He didn't have a lot of action scenes. You know, in the four seasons that Jesus was in, he didn't have a lot of action scenes. There was the one scene where he and Morgan fought, and then there was, a, you know, a few cool moments in season six, but he is a... He is supposed to be one of, like, the best parts of All Out War. You know, in, in the All Out War comics, a lot of really cool parts was just, like, Jesus just kicking ass, fighting saviors, fighting Negan, fighting zombies. And they pretty much just completely skip over that. I don't even know what he spent most of Season 8 doing. He was just, like, hiding off screen all the time. And then there was that one moment where he, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, Maggie, don't kill people, don't kill people, we need to save people, which just popped out of nowhere. So he's a, he's a little inconsistent sometimes, and he, he seems like a cool character, and he had a lot of potential, but they just sort of kept underusing him. Um, and even the actor, Tom Payne, said that he felt like he was being underused, and he actually asked to leave. I don't think... He said he was going to leave no matter what. I think um, what he said was that they, when they told him that he was going to get killed in Season 9, they already knew that he would be okay with leaving. And he explained that he, he was just getting tired because he was doing all all this, this real-life training for, for the characters' fighting scenes, and he never got to, a chance to do anything. He, he had that one little fight with Lenny James in Season 8 that they filmed, and other than that, he just kept waiting to get a chance to show off his fighting skills for years, and never really got that chance. So I guess, you know, maybe a part of what led to Jesus' Jesus's death was just them knowing that Tom Payne was willing to leave, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe they would have killed him off either way, but he he already told them that he wanted that he he wouldn't be against leaving. I think I think that's what he said. But yeah, it it's tricky because he is a pretty cool character in the comics. Um I I think that the the, the thing about Jesus's death in season 9 was that it was really well done. It, it, it sort of similar to how I feel about Merle's death, like it's a character that definitely was underused but they had a good death merle had a good death and uh i really like jesus's death with the whispers you know go, with the whisper guy going you know you are where you're not be belong and and the, the way that they revealed that it wasn't a, a walker you know with the guy ducking and then stabbing jesus from behind that was a cool ass death and, you know, he did die showing off his fighting skills. He, you know, he did go out in a sort of in a blaze of glory. And I, I'm not really against the, the Whisperers killing a main character at, for their introduction. And I'm not really against it being Jesus. I mean, I do kind of feel like he was expendable. He was never really one of my favorite characters. I, I agree with the people that think he was underused. But... I mean, what's done is done, you know. Um, as far as a death in season nine, I liked it. You know, I, I liked the the way it was it, it was handled, and you know, it, it's really sort of the first sad death in the whole season when you think about it. I mean, who else did we have that died? We had Gregory Arat. Um, yeah, I mean, we we didn't really have a sad death up until that point, as far as season eight goes. You know, Rick got taken away, but that wasn't a death. Jesus was like the first death, and I think it's a it's a well handled death, and it's well filmed, and I'm not really against it. And you know, Jesus, yeah, honestly, I could take him or leave him. You know, if they wanted to keep him alive for season ten, season eleven, that's fine. But actually, give him material. Yeah, it just seemed like they kept refusing to give him material. I mean, he was on the show from season six to nine, and they ever they rarely ever gave him enough material or an awesome fighting scene. He, he That's another thing about him, is that he has all these cool moments in the comics, and they hardly use any of them. I don't know if it's a budget thing. Like, I'm sure he probably would have wanted to, wanted to do his own stunts. He would have been willing to do them. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess they, they didn't... Maybe it costs money to, to film 
that shit. I don't know. I just feel like they just, for some reason, they decided to underuse Jesus. You know, they decided to underuse probably in a way one one of, if not the most badass, you know, hand-to-hand fighters, just badass fighters in general. I mean, because that's what he is. He's a fighter. You know, he knows really good hand-to-hand combat and, and stuff like that. And they just didn't under they they just didn't use him. So I don't know. I mean, his death I can take it or leave it. I'm not really against it. I do like how it was done. So yeah, it was a good enough death. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 437 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 500 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 500. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!